Okay, uh, today what I want to do is go through and find broken links. And uh, there's a couple ways to do that. If you have a Google Webmaster account, you can go through their list and find broken links. There's just one problem though. Uh, Google Webmaster and, and really any uh, tools, not to pick on Google, but they seem to give away all the free tools. Uh, gee whiz, uh, are they data mining anybody? Uh, <laughs> but uh, Google Webmaster, I, I like. I like it mostly for uh, force feeding or spoon feeding my sitemap.xml so that I know that they know about every single page on a, a particular website. They will give you other inf interesting information that you can look at, and one of them is broken links. It's not right a lot of the time. Uh, we have found error after error after error uh, that, that they continue to report, and it just is what it is. This tool that I'm going to show you, I think any SEO worth their weight uh, uses and knows about, um, and it's called Xenu, and Xenu Links Sleuth, you'll see here, and it's not a, a UFO thing or a Scientology thing. Uh, it, it's a link, broken link finder, and all you do is just go to this site, and I've put the URL right here for you, and you can just download, and then once you have it loaded, uh, you can do a, a report. And I'll show you what I mean right here. Uh, I ran a report on my uh, my own blog, houseblogger.com, and um, I'm going to show you my report in a second, but what I wanted to do first was uh, kind of show you how to set this up. It's real simple. If you want to do a new report, just put your URL in right here, check external links, and then I usually just go ahead and go with all of these. Uh, it'll show you the valid text URLs, your sitemap, statistics, orphan files, etc., etc. It's kind of cool to look at at least the first time if you want to go through this quick and dirty in the future after your second or third time. Then what you could do is just show broken links and, and use it for that. Um, so, and then you could, this tells you how many threads, so it'll speed it up depending on and where you put it here. Okay, and so that's what we did there. Now let's look at the report. And the report that it gave uh, was for House Blogger. And okay, and this is the report in your browser. Um, it shows it up like this, and you can go to different uh, pieces of the report by clicking here or just scrolling down and uh, there's some stuff that's um, that's a problem there is no such host as this URL right here uh, according to this report we we want to go and check and verify that so I need to get those links off of these pages right here these pages have the link to this particular website we want to get rid of that because it's it's according to this uh, report it this link doesn't exist uh, and it appears the host doesn't so the website itself doesn't doesn't exist uh, here's another example um, here we go um, this is an example of a picture that is looking to call from my hard drive and this is a, a t complete rookie mistake and I'd like to say it was when I was just learning how to block or learning anything but it was like a year ago so it's 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 very easy to have happen um, what it is what happens is you've somehow put a, a picture up from your own hard drive and it's never actually transferred to the server so the website is calling your hard drive and when you're looking at it in your own browser it's going to appear like it works there's the picture it must be correct you might have, you must have put it there correct however if I was to look at this URL say from your browser or some other uh, whoops I don't know what this thing's doing here uh, some other browser on someone else's uh, computer this would 
not exist this picture in in how it's supposed to look inside of the uh, the browser or inside of the blog so you need to check these kind of things and if it exists you need to put I in this case need to put this picture the real one up onto the server instead of just pulling from my own hard drive so this is a something that you know when you're doing your designs and you're eyeballing it it doesn't work uh, it works to you, but it doesn't work to the rest of the world. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, uh, there was a couple lessons. One, uh, by doing these kind of fixes, you can help your SEO. Now, it is under, under the category of what I call majoring in minors. Then, And usually under the minor category, it's it helps your SEO in conjunction or symbiotically with other minors that you've done to help with your SEO. There are majors. Uh, the majors are things such as the title tag, the robots txt, sitemap.xml, etc. And I've I've gone through this in the blog and other in other posts. Just look up under the SEO uh, category on House Blogger. But um, when you're majoring in minors, this thing may or may not help. You know, I've now I'll tell you this is the first time I've looked at this uh, that I can remember ever, and I've been blogging since uh, I think it was 2004, might have been 2003 uh, that I've had House Blogger. So the site does very well in the engines, uh, has uh, for uh, forever. So hey, maybe this will make it do even better. Maybe it won't do anything, but maybe this will will help and then when I do the next little minor adjustment to, to help this uh, this site out uh, that will be the final little push that will knock it over the fence and and make it go to that next level of, of rankings and traffic and whatnot so anyway I wanted to make you aware of this uh, I, the, one of the other lessons that I want you to know is that these are just softwares Google is just the giant software it's not uh, some genius sitting behind, uh, you know, behind the curtain and doing everything for you. It's it's automated. It's a machine. Machines break down. They make mistakes. And when you're doing something like this on the net, you are also counting on other machines to behave proper. And at that particular moment, uh, it may not be behaving properly, and therefore you're getting a bad result so anyway um, but it this this is useful and it can help but you you know to say that this doesn't work by just looking at a report uh, may be completely wrong I might go to this page and there it is there's the moz dash screenshot dash three whatever that is okay so anyway um, hopefully you found this useful if you would like more um, tutorials and have any questions answered be sure to uh, to ask me. Um, a lot of these things that I do are uh, as part of conversations and to create uh, useful tutorials for my clients as well as um, my friends on House Blogger and on the net. So uh, feel free to uh, get a conversation started through either the comment section, shooting me an email, or, uh, or through Facebook or, or, Facebook or, or Twitter. Have a great day.